Hey guys, Lisa here from Conquer the Gauntlet Pro Team. So I'm bringing you a Technique Tuesday, and I don't know if a lot of you know, but I do a lot of traveling. So I spend half my time here in Mississippi when I'm at home, but I work two weeks a month in Wisconsin. And so I'm always trying to find new and creative ways to be able to work my grip while I travel back and forth, because not always can I get into a gym and work out. Um, I just need to have access to a bar and I can run. So this is all the stuff that I, um, I'll rotate traveling with. I don't always bring um, some of it, but I was gonna show you a little idea. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is my peg block. Um, Force 5 does make these. This is my favorite training tool of all times. It goes easily in my suitcase because as you can see, it can break down pretty tiny. The only thing that I need to bring when I bring this with is I do bring um, a strap line just so that it easily clips onto a bar and then I can bring one carabiner. Normally I travel with two. So what I'll do is I'll go to a playground or anywhere that has a bar and what I just do is slap the strap line over if I can reach in my own house and then I'll carabiner it and then I carabiner my peg lock too. And so now I have it um, and you can work your pegs around on it. Um, if you've never used a peg lock, it's pretty challenging. Um, so that's one option that I'll travel with um, dependent on for the two weeks what I really want to be working. Um, my other option is um, from Atomic and I really like this one um, just because it actually breaks down even smaller. So it lays pretty flat in my backpack. So I carry these two with me. Um, know that they also come with additional holds. So they do come with the round holds. Um, one side has got an easier grip on it and one side has got a, a more difficult grip. Um, but I don't tend to travel with these because these take up a little bit more room. So what I do is leave um, just the squares that are on here. They have different angled sides. So right now, mine's sitting on 80% grade, so that means that the angle of grip is um, 80%. The hardest, of course, is 90, the easiest is 60. So you just take the little tool, and you can twist it, and you can twist it and tighten it. You can change out the grips, but they're awesome to travel with. So the same idea is gonna go. I'm just gonna take my carabiner. I'm gonna do a two-part process so I don't fall and hurt myself, because I'm very special and I'll clip it, and it can be any bar, as long as you're high enough to hang. And then I can just take my strings, and I can clip these in, and I can clip this one in, and as you can see, you can hang, and you can do pull-ups, you can just dead hang, you can do anything you want. But that is my Technique Tuesday for being able to travel and taking things that are small and, take, and traveling with them. Have a great Tuesday, guys.